Hi guys, today I want to talk with you about most popular Russian novel Crime and Punishment of uh, Dostoevsky. This novel is really popular around the world, in Russia too. Perhaps uh, this video will not get many, many views because sure not uh, all of you read this novel and maybe not interested in Russian literature is quite uh, specific but uh, after this video if you will read this novel would be really cool and uh, and please stay until the end of this video because I plan to read the part of the novel in Russian my native language and want to share this with you I adore Russian literature you know that um, I'm also a teacher of Russian literature not just uh, Russian language so today I want to discuss with you uh, this topic. Um, I adore Russian literature because this is my native language and I think I can feel it deeply. That's why I love it. This novel was published in uh, 1866 and let's I will tell you briefly what uh, this novel is about. By the way, uh, all the actions of this novel happen in St. Petersburg, a city where I was, you know. Uh, St. Petersburg of these years, you know, specific of this city, I told you, it's kind of gray city, depressive, um, and uh, that's logically that everything happened there. So the main person, main character of this novel is Radion. Radion is a student, and once he decided to commit a crime, he decided to kill uh, an old woman, and also he kill uh, her sister using the axe and uh, throughout the novel Dostoevsky show all his feelings what he feel after this uh, crime and uh, of course he also represent uh, the society of these years um, in this novel and uh, he wanna uh, show the truth about these times, like how people uh, lived in these poor, hard times, how they lived uh, in these years. And in the course of the entire novel, he psychologically and spiritually comes to realize his actions, uh, his crime. He's not the only one hero of this uh, novel, but uh, the main one. Anyway, I read this novel uh, maybe three times, two times in school and one time in uh, university because we also learned Russian literature. And um, what I understood about this novel, why I decided to tell about this today, and well, I can tell you that um, really this is not only just the novel about the society, hard times, this is the novel about love. Uh, why not just uh, love, love between a woman and man just love in your heart and how this love um, help you there is uh, another uh, person in this novel and this is a woman a woman uh, her name is Sonia and she is all very important there for me that's like an example of Russian soul a uh, soul of Russian woman because Russian women are distinguished by the fact that they are very, very sacrificial and ready to do everything for love, for a person who you love. And Radion and Sonia, they were both at the very bottom. And uh, because of their poverty, she has to, let's, I will just say, sell her body, because I don't know if I can say this in YouTube, uh, because uh, she needed to feed the family, her father couldn't work. They had kids uh, and um, she had to help her family. So they meet with uh, Radion just accidentally and actually first time uh, they just were interested. And actually what's interesting, uh, Sonia is the first person who Radion uh, tells about his crime. And she say him go and uh, tell about this. And she doesn't blame him, she just say, why, how did you do this with yourself because now you will be like most unhappy person after what you've done and then after he admits that he done it he he was sent to Siberia and she go with him even if she could not do this for eight years to hard labor to work and uh, and in the end she melted his heart uh, with her kindness I would like to read uh, the part of the novel that's already the very, very end um, in Russian. I will read in Russian and then I will write you the translation. 
this is already an epilogue. Они хотели было говорить, но не могли. Слезы стояли в их глазах. Они оба были бледны и худы, но в этих больных и бледных лицах уже сияла заря обновленного будущего, полного воскресения в новую жизнь. Их воскресила любовь. Сердце одного заключало бесконечные источники жизни для сердца другого. Они положили ждать и терпеть. Им оставалось еще семь лет, а до тех пор столько нестерпимой муки и столько бесконечного счастья. Но он воскрес, и он знал это, чувствовал вполне всем обновившимся существом своим. А она, она ведь и жила только одной его жизнью. Вечером того же дня, когда уже заперли казармы, Раскольников лежал на нарах и думал о ней. В этот день ему даже показалось, что как будто все каторжные бывшие враги его уже глядели на него иначе. Он даже сам заговаривал с ними, и ему отвечали ласково. Он припомнил теперь это, но ведь так и должно было быть, разве не должно теперь все измениться? Он думал о ней, он вспомнил, как он постоянно ее мучил и терзал ее сердце. Вспомнил ее бледное, худенькое личико, но его почти не мучили теперь эти воспоминания. Он знал, какую бесконечную любовью искупит он теперь все ее страдания. I don't know if you feel it or not, but I think that's wonderful. I have uh, such an interesting story in my life. When I was uh, in school, we had a class, very interesting class. It was like um, not ordinary lesson, it was a game. A trial of Raskolnikov. Uh, Raskolnikov, uh, a trial of this uh, man, Radion Raskolnikov. And, uh, and uh, we all had uh, some rules. It was not prepared performance. My teacher said that you will be Sonia, this girl, because uh, we feel like <laughs> you are kind of similar to her in something. Say so, okay, and no one knows what I will say there. It was it was an interesting task because I had to protect a crime of person who I love. So I had to explain why he's done it, and you know I had a scarf in my head, and when I just came there and when I went to the judge uh, it fell it fell very beautifully from my head <laughs> it was so beautiful and uh, I don't remember actually what did I say but uh, I just told something from my heart and, and many of my uh, classmates say that they almost cried <laughs> it was really a nice experience so I hope that it was interesting tell me if um, you are interested in videos like this also about literature maybe we can read something together sometimes and sure don't forget that now you have just some days to join the russian marathon uh, where we also learn how to read russian and um, two weeks of russian uh, with the videos homeworks that i check individually with the audios videos that i sent you like my feedback on telegram with everyone individually uh, two weeks of Russian, uh, we learn how to read, we learn the alphabet, so just two days you have to register, so better do it now if you want, if you plan. Um, I want just the people who really want uh, came and we will work with you um, very hard. Guys already started to do first, not homework, because uh, lesson starts on Monday, now I just published there the video like about motivation, how to uh, set the goals and everything, so we already do this. And sure, write in comments if uh, you read already this novel or no, maybe after this video you plan to read it, I will be happy to know what you think about Russian literature. Have a nice day!